Shalom, beloved. Shabbat Shalom. Or were this day as we go forth on this Sabbath, we are going to give praise and blessings to the Most High. As we look at the word blessed and blessing, we're going to look at the Hebrew meaning. It is called Barak. We use the word Barak to kneel, to praise, to show respect, to congratulate, to suit, to salute, to increase. It also means to favor, to have mercy and benefit, to show devotion and worship. When we look at the word replenish, it is feel and satiate, fill and satiate. Before we move forward, beloved, we'll share a prayer together this day. Father, we come in thy name, the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, thy holy beloved son. We come honoring thy name, thy truth, thy glorious spirit. For you are Yah of our ancestors, Yah of Abraham. Yav Isaac and Yav Yasharel. Let us realize and feel the power and the truth of who you are. You are the Elohim that was there speaking to Abraham, our ancestor. You are that same Elohim who was with Isaac and Jacob. And you are the same Elohim who sent your living word down in the form of flesh to save us and to bring us back to you. We ask that you receive, hear, and bless our prayer this day as we honor and glorify you and come together as one, as the house of Yasharel into your glorious presence and let us find an opening and a space with you there. Come in, Father, let us feel your presence and your anointing in our lives. Let us witness it. Refresh us, Father, in this dry wasteland of the world. Let that spirit move in our lives and let us grow ever closer and let us increase. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, let this prayer and this word be a blessing unto you and a praise this day, honoring and acknowledging you. And let it increase and strengthen the house of Yasharel, casting down all our enemies and leading us to the glory of you. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name, honoring the Ruach HaKadosh, amen. We're going to look, beloved, today at the blessing. We are in the book of Genesis, chapter 1. We see, according to scripture, that the first blessing came upon Adam and Eve. And Yah blessed them, and Yah said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. When we look at this blessing that Yah gave to Adam and Eve, we know that they are praising and honoring and glorifying him as he blesses them, as he gives them favor. We also know that when he tells them to be fruitful and multiply, he is not just talking about the physical. For the word of the Most High tells us that spirit, mind, and body is the order that we should worship, praise, and move in spirit, mind, and body. 
So when we see them being fruitful, they're fruitful in the spirit. They are multiplying, not just in the body, but the word in the spirit of the most high. And they replenish the earth. What is it to replenish? When we think in the physical, we know that he wants them to reproduce and to bear fruit of their bodies and to procreate. But you see, the Most High knew what was the beginning from the end, all those things that were going to come about. When he's talking about replenish, he's talking about fill the earth, satiate it with his word abundantly, with his spirit following after his statutes, laws, commands, those things we know that honor and glorify him. We are to replenish the earth. Now, when we look at the prince of the air, he attempts to create this abundant atmosphere of all the things that oppose the most high. So we have to replenish the earth with the truth of his word, with his spirit moving in us, allowing us to be used as he will. We are not only multiplying in body, but we are multiplying in spirit. And we see as we share his word with one another. It is not only gone throughout cities, throughout states, throughout this country, it is moved throughout the world, and the world is responding. Even our enemies are trying to take counsel as how to thwart us, but it does not matter. Why? Because we are blessed. We are blessed, and we see it in the beginning. We also know that the Lord blessed Abraham and Sarah. So this blessing is moving throughout. Now, the second blessing that we read in the book of Genesis, and Yah blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in that, it in that, because in it, he had rested from all his work. He blessed it because we are supposed to praise, honor, and glorify him. Not according to the way the world has taught us, but according to the truth of all he has done and is doing. When we need and we find that the Lord supplies our needs, as we move in the spirit, we are witnessing miracles in our lives. When we're looking for things and suddenly he makes our eyes avert to where it's located at. When we think of something and we speak a thing into existence, that blessing is upon us. We are blessing him because he blessed us and we know all the power, the glory of the most high. We see it with our eyes. We experience it in our mind. He increases us. In the midst of a drought, we get an overflow of abundance because he opens our eyes to those things that don't pass away, those things that have true value. He removes the scales from our eyes that the world put on us to make us think of valuing people above him when we know all of them grow old, wither, and die. We have our eyes open and we are blessed and therefore we bless, praise and honor him because we're growing in the spirit. He's showing us signs and miracles every day, beloved. We're getting to a point, we can think of something and it come to us, why? Because we are not walking in the flesh, we're in the spirit. And we're growing in ways that the world doesn't even teach. But remember, he blessed Adam and Eve. And then on that Sabbath day, 
Adam and Eve learned how to bless and praise him because they understood they only had what they had because of him. And spiritually, they were replenishing the earth. When Cain slew Abel and Yah gave them Seth, they understood there was a replenishing going on. That multiplier was in effect. And it was not just based on physical things. It was a spiritual multiplier and abundance from Yah. Therefore, the blessing came. What blessing? Not just the blessing he blessed Adam and Eve with, but Adam and Eve blessing and praising him for all that he had done and all he was doing. Remember, he told them, replenish the earth, fill it, satiate it. Now, with praise and honor and glory, and God blessed that seventh day. Everyone understands the power of what he did. He brings us closer and closer to him. We get his favor in our lives. It's not just about physical things. When he tells us to multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, we, beloved, can speak a thing into existence. It doesn't matter what the enemy does. We've already conquered the enemy. How do we know? Because his word tells us so. And we have satiated the earth so much so that our words have pierced the heavens and are called out before his holy throne. Yes, beloved, we bless him this day because when he told us to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. There's a record of it in heaven. Yes, beloved, the angels keep a record of our praise and our worship unto the most high. When we look at the book of Revelations, I'm gonna start at the eighth verse in chapter five, the eighth verse. No one could take the scroll and open it until the Lamb of God had come. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and 20 elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Yes, beloved, yes, yes. When you look at the blessing that Yah gave us through Adam and Eve in the beginning, when he said, replenish the earth. Those praises, those blessings, those merciful thanksgivings that we gave were so powerful that the golden vials are full of them. Those odors, those incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They are up in the heavenly realm before the throne of the most high and his word witnesses it as we bow down before him, giving him thanks. Yes, beloved, yes. That blessing, that praise, that glory that is due him. I was looking at blessed. He blessed the seventh day. This Sabbath that we recognize him and all he has done, Yah blessed it. He gave it respect. He increased it. It also is a day of increase because we recognize from whence all our blessings come. This Sabbath and every Sabbath, there is an increase. We recognize, yes, yes, yes. When he finished, oh, it didn't stop. It didn't have a stale, it's done, it's over, there's no more. No, because when he was done, he had just begun. That's the power of the blessedness of who he is. What do I mean? He created the heavens and the earth. He created the fish, the seas, the fowls, and man and woman, 
but it didn't stop there. The increase started, the multiplier started, the praise, the worship, the glorification of who he is began. There was an increase. There was a multiplier, an abundance. That replenishing came. He blessed it after he blessed Adam and Eve because Adam and Eve understood the Sabbath. And they were there blessing him because without him, they could not be blessed. Their blessing was him, of him, through him, because of him. And yes, beloved, we are blessed every day that we wake up to see the newness of his creation. We are blessed with every breath we take, every move we make. We are blessed through mercy instead of judgment. We are blessed because sometimes if it wasn't, for the mercy, that justice and that judgment would cut us off. But that blood, that holy, righteous, glorious blood of the land, that second Adam, that second man, Adam meaning man. Yes, beloved, yes, yes, yes. Son of man, son of the earth, Yeshua being that second Adam, that pure, undefiled, Adam, that faithful, righteous servant who followed faithfully unto death. Yes, yes, yes. We are cleansed by that glorious blood. And so you see, he replenishes us so that we in turn can turn around and be the blessing to him. Because let me find it. In the book of Revelation, he made us. I want to go back. I want to go back and find it. So he made us for his pleasure. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. We go to the book of Revelations. Let me go back. It's in chapter four. I'm in chapter five, book of Revelations. I want to go to chapter four. I want to go to chapter four. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Verse 11, I'm going to go to verse 11. Yes, yes. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Yes, 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 that we may praise, honor, and glorify him, for we are blessed to know who he is, how he is, and that he chose us. We are a peculiar people, beloved. And we know he blessed with increase that Sabbath day. He blessed Adam and Eve. He blessed Abraham and Sarah so much so he changed their name. The blessing was so powerful. You can't stay the same when the blessing hits you. It's transformative it the replenishing is a two-way thing it doesn't just come one way it comes inward that blessing is so powerful it transforms it brings an increase that's why even on the seventh day he blessed it yes he rested from his work but it was blessed because the increase the increase remember the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof the sabbath day he blessed it when it is blessed mm, there's a devotion on that blessing yes it is yes it is there's a favor on that blessing there's a worship on that blessing there's a praise there ain't no God but my God, the God of gods all by himself. Yes, yes, dreadful, terrible is his name. He puts on a cloak of majesty. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Woo, woo, woo. We gonna bless him this day because he is a blessing. And without him, there is nothing that can be blessed. Yes, yes, yes. We're talking about praise, the true blessedness, to praise him, to congratulate him on what he has done. Yes, when everybody else says, no, it's impossible, he says, come to me, try me. 
And that miracle comes, beloved. Yes, beloved. Yes. He shows increase. The abundance comes in. The blessing of the Sabbath. He blessed it so that we could get that spiritual awareness. The world wants to keep us distracted, wanting this and wanting that. It all grows old and withers away. But he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changeth not. We look at them, you promised me a lot and gave a little. I asked for a little from the most high and he gave me so much I didn't have room to receive it. You got to remember, he'll open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing you don't have room for. That's who Yah is, the blessed most high. Even when he rested from his work, he rested because the work went into an open abundance yes yes and what are we doing we blessing him who blessed us first yes he blessed adam and eve he blessed them he said be fruitful yes beloved yes we'll be fruitful with one another and recognize the blessing of who we belong to who yahuwah is who his word is who his spirit is it's a blessing. It's a favor because we see beyond mortal wise to just live by faith. Remember, we know there's a day of rest coming even to us, beloved. Yes, yes. When he separates the sheep from the goat, the wheat from the tares, and no more trouble will come by here. Yes, yes, yes. There's coming a day, beloved. This blessing has an abundance on it. Even if we don't see all that there will be, eyes have not seen, ears, oh, I'm listening, Lord, but we ain't heard it all. No hesitant in into the heart of man. Let me tell you, let me tell you now. See, the sinner, there ain't no hope. The angels keep in record. Let me tell you how deep it is. You get into the book of Enoch. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The sun, the moon, the stars, the rain, the snow, the winds are witness to the wickedness. They got a testament over there in the tablets of heaven. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They keeping a record. There is nothing that they can hide from who the evil ones. And when their judgment comes. Let me tell you, but see, we are running with righteousness. We are running because we believe the Lord. We're leaning on him what with his blessed mercy and favor. Yes, beloved, let me tell you why. Because it's abundant. And this Sabbath, we recognize the glory and the truth of who he is and who we are. We are made for his pleasure. And it is a pleasure because I can brag about who my father is, who our father is, the truth for the matter. It doesn't matter if this body grows old because one of these days, my father, who, who, let me tell you, he got a place prepared for us. Yes, 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 where thieves and robbers can't break in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, where no rust can corrode. Silver and gold are the roads that we walk on. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, we get a new name and see even if you're can't see there's a mark on you and there's a mark on me what do i mean the blessing of the blessed one he sent his angels all around the four corners of the earth putting his mark on us yes beloved yes it is a blessing to bless the blessed one this sabbath day yes we give blessings and praise because we are blessed by the blessed one beloved 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 so much so, we are replenishing the earth. We're multiplying. We're subduing it. What are we subduing? We're not just subduing animals. We're subduing evil spirits, binding them up. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, because you got power. You got power. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. This thing isn't a one-way street. It's an abundant blessing. And the blessedness of our Father, blessing him, praising him, honoring him, understanding the truth that we are nothing. We have our being in him. 
only through him, but because of him, the increase becomes an overflow. The overflow becomes a raging river. Yes, yes, yes. Rivers of living waters flow from our bellies and we flood one another with the spirit, which gives that increase, that a Abundance. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. We talk about a Sabbath day of a blessed day. Our glorious father deserving all honor, praise, glory, and thanksgiving. His word pure and true that never fails. Yes, yes, yes. And we know even when Yeshua took that book out of the hand of the Holy One, Mm, mm, mm. The four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before him, having vials in their hands of the prayers. Whose prayers? Your prayers, my prayers, their prayers. Who's the saints, the beloved ones? It's a blessing to bless the blessed Holy Father, Yah. Yes, let me tell you, let me tell you the first blessing. Yah gave it to Adam and Eve when he said, be fruitful, we will be fruitful. Thy word shall be continually, fruitfully multiplying in my mouth. Come on now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoo, this thing getting hot. Just give me a minute. Mm, mm, mm. Let me tell you, Yah blessed them. And Yah said unto them, be fruitful, thy word shall be continually in my mouth and multiply. Yes, this thing's going to start increasing because you see, the blessing brings in abundance. It's an increase mm, and replenish. What's that mean? We're going to fill the earth. The enemy's trying to come in like a flood, but you got to remember the most high read up a standard against it. We replenishing this thing. We throwing up a standard against it mm, 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 and subdue it. Amen. Amen. And subdue it. We more than conquerors. We going from glory to glory. And I'm giving all praise, honor, and truth to the most high, his word, and his Holy Spirit, as are you, beloved. This glorious Sabbath. Why? Mm, mm, mm. Understand, your words are so powerful. Your prayers are not only heard by one another. They are not just here on earth. They're ascending, going up into the heavenly. And we got the 12, the 20, and four elders at the throne before the most high holding golden vows with our prayers going up like sweet incense. Yahuwah knows about it. The word knows about it. Oh, yes, those prayers go before the word. We believe you, Lord. We believe everything you said, Lord. Praise, honor, and glory as we fall down and give him honor. We're standing there. We in the heavenly of heavenlies. Our prayers have pierced the clouds. Understand, beloved. As you walk with that mark of the most high, he blessed us first. He blessed us first so that we could understand the blessing he is. And we still can't even begin to truly, truly know the most high, but the blessedness of what he did give us. Mm, mm, mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, because eyes haven't seen. No, no, we... Mm. Mm, but that's the hope. That's the anchor. That's the anchor. Wait a minute. Ears haven't heard, so we know there's some sweet, sweet sounds. They singing new songs in glory. There's some new sounds. Ears haven't heard. You know, we're going to get a new name. We ain't heard it yet, but we're going to get a new name. Mm. And it has not entered into the heart of man. Yes, yes. See, we got another home waiting for us. We don't have to look and rob and steal and murder and kill and follow the evil one because we know this place is temporary. We pilgrims. We just sojourners. Somebody come. No, I don't have time for that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not fretting myself about y'all evil doers because I'm just on a little trip here. This is not my permanent station, nor is it yours. We got a home. It's not made with the hands of man. Okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. There's no rent on that one. Ain't no mortgage due. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me finish. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. It's a holy day. It's a glorious day, beloved. Mm-mm. Mm, mm. But for us to understand, we had to be blessed first so he could open up the eyes of the blind and make us see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He sanctified it because that in, that in it, he had rested 
from all his work, which God created and made. He rested, but his work went into an abundance. His work went into an overflow. His work is in a flood state. It's a replenishing work. Look, may he open our eyes to understand even when we cannot see, let him open our spiritual eyes. Let him circumcise our spiritual ears that we may hear. Let him take our tongue that his word is continually in our mouths. Continually. Because me and my house, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we shall serve the Lord. We're going to be like Joshua. Yes, yes, as we praise, honor, and glorify him this day and forevermore. Beloved, it is a word. Shabbat shalom.